welcome to the first ever review on this channel um, hopefully many more to come and just pretty much talking about some figures I had could be new could be old um, in my collection there and uh, just to give uh, my points of view on some of these things and perhaps some things I could have done better so in this case looking at the Samurai Animal Spring at that time made by Fury Toys which is a, a sort of um, third party uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles basically if I couldn't tell so they gave them a little samurai motif and I guess they'll try and avoid any copyright issues and that's all we got so this is the figure and this is pretty much how it comes out of box the box comes like this came with two kunai and two uh, kama I believe they call it and there's also two chains with a weight on the end that you can attach to either the ends of the kama or the kunai and good stuff I'll take a look at those in more detail just now so this is pretty much how the figure comes in package samurai helmet looks real nice comes with soft goods scarf soft goods uh, what do you call this tassels and man when I tell you the detail on this thing is fan fucking fantastic excuse me French see all these stars up there even all the little buckles uh, more rivets or whatever metal pieces all the arms, the wraps, everything going through there legs, wraps Tail, all the details on the shell. It's really, really, really something. Like I saw, everybody was complaining about the size and stuff like that, and I had all paid the money for it at the time, and I was like, damn, is it really gonna be that small? But when I got it in hand, I was like, <laughs> it was good. Really, really nice. I mean, you pay. A far more money than that for imports uh, like figure arts and, and those kind of things far more money and in my opinion less best less um less good a sculpt and um paint all right if i could uh pop the head off one sec Move the cape so you can get us a view of the um, armor or shoulder armor. Sorry, figure looks phenomenal to be honest. These uh, are soft rubber, and even the ends are a little bit flexible, but not too much. But that said, you still get. Some motion, uh, mostly down, up, and that's all I get with this helmet. The torso does move, there's a cut right above there. Let me see if I could get a better view. So that's about all forward, it's about all back, typical Ninja Turtle fig uh, articulation, you know. The arms can go all the way around, out to about there. This side might be a little more limited as there's a shoulder armor. I don't know. Same height. The elbow is single jointed, unfortunately. And that's all you're getting to get. 90. The, no bicep swivel here, but you do have the swivel at the elbow. It's still kind of 
function is almost the same but just doesn't look as good uh, the wrist is uh, like a double ball joint so you could actually get it to move around on this and of course swivel the legs kick out about that far pretty good for ninja turtles double jointed Ankle articulation is down, up to about there, sorry, down about there, and there's a rocker. Unfortunately, there's no tie cut for a swivel, but you do get kind of a very, very slight motion on the ball joint itself. So, if you wanted to kind of do that, you could. So, it's not too bad. I saw some people modern the joints and stuff, I, I don't think it's necessary. So he could actually get you into some pretty decent poses. Without too much trouble. So let's take a look at his uh, accessories there. Aside from them. So these are the two camera which came, you can see they have a wash and everything on there. A nice paint on the blades itself to make it look metallic. A little hole on the end for the end of the uh, chain here. One thing I would say though, you yeah, yeah, always have to have like a little pliers or something to put the chain on if you want to leave it like that, but I'll show you all. Why that is not such a great idea. And the kunais, two of those. Very nice paint, very nice wash. And also same thing where you can attach this chain onto it. Giving you that uh, scorpion type weapon. And if I know what it is. And he holds all of them very, very well. No problems whatsoever. Even if you want to use it reversed, you can. So, you know. Badass. But the problem I was thinking of is this. With regards to the chain. If you wanted to put the chain on it, on it, um, like permanently then once you have the chain on there's a ball on the end here like a weight which he is meant to hold and there's no way to get the entire chain along with this ball through his hand to be able to hold it so you'll have to put the chain through this end and then attach it onto the camera on this end and then put it into his hand seems like a lot of work and it's not an accessory I'm going to use very much because I'll show you why in a very short second. Alright, so this figure as I was mentioning came with some bonus accessories and that is these. Two open hands, an unhelmeted head with the cloth goods bandana, soft goods bandana I mean, and two katana in their sheets or painting on the handle as well and these are pretty much the accessories I would always use with this thing I'm going to put them, oops, I'm gonna put them on and show you how they look
people say the head looks too small but I say put it on and just leave it like that for a day and you your eyes will totally adjust to how that looks to be honest and to me once you leave the scarf on it looks real nice but you could take it off yeah, if you want to I guess it does look a little small without the scarf Saying the bandana on these are cloth, we got cloth as well. The one well, I'll get them on the picks on this figure afterwards. Things that I thought that maybe they could do better on future releases and stuff. Um, so the wrists pull off like that, and like I said, double ball joint. So you could use your open hand, plug them in. So it goes. The sheets have pegs which peg into these on the back. In the sort of diagonal look that he has on the connects. And that, my friends, they don't get much better than that. That looks fantastic. Oops, I didn't plug this far enough. Ah, there you go. So, put my sword in like that. The arm forward, so. This figure came out a couple of years back. Um, I don't know if they were ever released, re release it, but you know, always good to keep checking. And they recently released the uh, his um, the Donatello version. I forget the name of it at the moment, um, but there's also that one coming. I think this figure is definitely worth the money for it. Probably not the eBay prices that you see though. I saw this selling for like 150 and, and 100 and, and more, you know. I don't think uh, at that point in time, I don't think it, <laughs> it'll be worth it. But, you know, if you still like these figures and you still want to see like how the whole set is, I definitely will get all of them. All. I think they're really nice. Well, like I said, um, I did have some nitpicks on this, and I'll get to those. First off, these cloth uh, tassels, they just keep, uh, how to say, they just get wound up and they can't come loose. Like, uh, they should be open out like this, perhaps, and flat but then they just roll up <laughs> and I don't know how to get that I don't know if it was just the type of cloth that they used or, or what also the lack of the tie cut as I mentioned and I don't know why they didn't have double jointed uh, elbows on this because I mean it's big enough that you could have it it's not like a tiny tiny figure that it's impossible to have so I think it was something that they could they could have put on there another little nitpick I have is this bandana does not match the paint that is on the mask I don't know if you see that but it's definitely two different colors so I think uh, I'll always keep my eye open for something that matches this better and maybe I'll swap them out and this annoying um, rolling material on this as well but the scarf very nice and yeah don't have too much else to say on this one I um, think it's a definite uh, definite
pick up and if they do re-release it don't sleep on it get it just the paint the sculpt and how much did i pay for this at the time like 40 something dollars and that came with the with the uh custom kit as well so hopefully next review i have for you all will be on the donatello I've, the name escapes me at the moment here eh? um, and also they released their version of a splinter as well so i'll see you all then a uh, quick size comparison here he is next to marvel legends ant-man and his height is about four and a quarter inches Thank you.